Hello, my Scorpions, Scorpio. This is a reading for the end of April, 2020. What do Scorpios need to know in general? Scorpios need to know. Um, I see some kind of a relationship here. You guys might be waiting for something um, to happen with a relationship. This is supposed to be general, but this is ending up to be a relationship I see already. Um, you guys are waiting for that relationship to change or maybe to come in. This is what you need to know, though, Scorpios. You guys are the deep lovers. Deep lovers. Okay. It's like you're waiting for that passionate person to come into your life because you guys are passionate people and you want that same thing. Um, let's see. I see you have, um, it's like you're, you're, maybe some of you have just gotten into a new relationship or this could be, since this is not for relationship, this is just a general reading, maybe you have gotten into a new job and um, you're finding that you feel really comfortable at this new job and you're getting a new title. Um, and maybe some of you are feeling like you have um, good relations with the people that you work with or your boss or your coworkers or whatever. And it's like you have found a new passion for this. Um, there seems to be another woman. It could be a mother or it could be your coworker. Or it could be a boss. Maybe your boss is a woman. Um, but you have this um, woman that is here. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Is She's a passionate person. She's um, very fiery. She might be quick to think in. She might have a little bit of attitude. She's quick to think in. Boom, boom, boom. She's like that. She could be Aries or she could be Scorpio, which is you guys too as well. You guys, maybe this is you um, because you're ruled by Mars. And Mars um, is quick, quick, quick at anger. <laughs> Don't mess with you. Like you might be a little patient. And then once you hit that mark, it's like boom, you're done. Okay, so um, I do see it could be a new job that you have. You're trying to figure out about leaving another job, some of you, um, and going to this new job. Because it looks like you have a new passion. There's a new passion here about something. It's like something that you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting for this new job and this new um, situation. It could just be a situation. You were wait you've been waiting for this new passion to come along. And it's like you have these fears, though, from your past. And it's like you can't let go. Maybe... It's a new, if it is a new job, then it's like you're, you're waiting for that new job to, uh, or your past job to, like, you had a connection with that job. When we get into a job, we get into, like, the people that we work with, the, we work for, and we are passionate about it. Um, so maybe this is what about you. You're rearranging your life because you are going through a transformation at this moment in your life. You're trying to shut the door from somewhere else and open another door. Um, the universe does that. We just have to wait and give it the time that the universe has for us. But it looks like in all reality, it, whatever is transforming, trans, transforming, um, it is good. It is, it's, it's going to equal out you. It's going to make you feel balanced and feel, um, it's going to make you feel good. Um, but some of you might be moving and you might be re rearranging your life and making this, some of you, it might be good to move and it might help you feel balanced in life. Okay. Not all of you, just some of you Scorpios. Okay. What else? Let's see. What do lovers, Scorpio lovers need to know? Scorpio lovers. Wow, really? You guys got a lot, to, these cards got a lot to say to you. Scorpio lovers need to know that are in a relationship for the end of April 2020. Okay, right here. Okay, so right now, um, this is what um, I feel like you guys and 
as a couple, you need to go outside and explore. Be, um, go for walks, go down the trails, somewhere that you can go that it's okay. But you need to go outside and spend time outside with your, with your mate. You need to become um, with one with the earth, but as a team together. Um, and when you do that, you will find that whenever you do stuff together, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel a little bit more grounded to Mother Earth and it makes you feel like a, a peace, a certain type of peace. Um, but it feels like there's something new coming in your relationship. You have a new um, beginning in your relationship, but it's because probably right now we got a lot, you know, you're staying home probably more or one of you are. Um, anyways, but you do have, it seems like you, you, you most of you are doing really good and you feel peaceful inside but on the other hand you're kind of like bored and then it makes you um think about other things you might be having sleepless nights which right now most of us are um, because our schedules are so messed up but you might be worried about things that you don't need to be worried about whatever it is that's keeping you up it, it's, it doesn't matter anymore you need to let go of that and um once you do it will make you feel a lot better. You'll feel peaceful. Going outside, spending outside time outside will help you. Um, stay together, like as a, as a couple. Go together places. Don't go by yourself. You need to go with your mate, with your lover. Um, but once you do, um, it'll be good. Um, I also see maybe there's something that will be said from your mate that hurt your feelings or that um, will bother you um, but in this just just remember they don't they didn't mean it um, they didn't really mean it the way that is it comes out so you need to just know that as what they said they didn't mean okay don't take it to heart um, don't worry about it but it might this this whatever they say to you um, it's gonna make you think differently it's gonna you're gonna be this could be what you um you are having problems with maybe they've already said something to you and you're having issues with it like you feel like wow how could they do this but to fix this situation you just need to come together because you're together a, a couple um stay together because two people work it out if you want to go outside and spend time outside i feel like that's going to help you like go on nature trails go fishing maybe or I mean, I don't know if we can go camping, but you could do something outside. Go outside and spend time in nature, okay? It's very healthy for you at this moment. For your relationship, it's healthy. So find something to do outside that's going to help you. Being out in, booked inside, like locked inside, is not healthy. It's not healthy. That's um, why prisoners have issues because they're locked inside all the time. They can't do what they want when they want how they want. So then they get mean and we get they get depressed and so as humans that's what we need. Go outside, find something to do outside, okay? All right, what do people that are single, Scorpio that is single in the end of April 2020, what do they need to know? Scorpio end of 2020. Ooh, you guys have a new beginning coming. You have a new right now you're thinking about something. I'm not quite sure what you're thinking about. It's a new relationship maybe. Um since this is lovers uh for relationships, not lovers but single. You have a new relationship coming, it looks like. Well, hold on. These cards are being stubborn. But you know what? Scorpios are stubborn. Scorpios are stubborn little asses. No. You guys are so passionate. I love it. I mean passionate. And you're caring too. You're caring. Just don't mess with a Scorpio because they're the first to come back in, in revenge. They might say, no, I'm not like that. No, you'll be the first. You won't even know it hits you until it hits you. <laughs> and they come back to get you. Bam. They'll be like, uh, oh, did I do that? <laughs> nope. I didn't do nothing. You guys are the sneaky little shits. Okay, what do single Scorpios need to know? Scorpions. Okay. I see where this is going. Well, a little bit here. Okay, so by the end of the year, you guys will have a new relationship okay by the end of the year I know it's only April the end of the year is months and months away okay 
You single people though, <clears throat> it's like you're getting ready to go through a change. And between now and the end of the year, it's like you are waiting for something, but it's like you are still frustrated from your past relationship. You're still hurt from it. You still have resilience towards that person. Um, it's hard to get over some things. Yes, I know it is. Believe me, I'll be the first to tell you that. Um, but sometimes we need to let go of things. And once you let go of certain things, uh, you feel better. But I mean, there's a lot that I need to still let go of myself. And I know that my life could be better if I just let go of that. But it's still, it's like it still nitpicks at the end of my, at the end of the day and at the back of my brain. It's still there. It's not going away. But it's because I have to work through it. And I know that I have to work through it. We have to understand that we um, need to look at things in a different way. Once you start looking at things in a different way, in a different point of view, then you're going to end up... Uh, beginning a new cycle in life you're gonna have a new cycle and you're gonna feel more confident about yourself you're gonna be more strategic you're gonna be able to go through a new door and then you're gonna be able to celebrate what you have what you are okay what you had um, doesn't matter what you had is the past today is today and you don't need to look at yesterday and you don't need to look at tomorrow you need to look at today because today is the day that you have Um, okay, so you feel like maybe there's somebody that's trapping you into a situation. Um, maybe you are seeing somebody else. Some of you might be seeing somebody, but you're not really in a relationship. You're just seeing them. And it's like, you're done with this cycle. Like, you guys go through the same crap all the time. And it's like, you don't want to be in that same cycle of, um, you know, maybe you guys are just friends with benefits and you're just done with that like you want a real relationship and it's like you are ready to be on the other side like you don't want to be used anymore that's the way you're feeling like you're being used like you're trapped like you can't get through but I do see a new relationship and a happy relationship not just a relationship but you have a happy relationship coming okay but you need to let go between now and the end of the year you need to work on who you are and think about your past don't don't think about your past but think about how you can change yourself from what you were in the past to what you can be today and each of us have the day every day that we wake up we have a new chance to be the better person that we wasn't yesterday okay so let go of those past um, regrets that people sometimes that people do stuff to us and we just can't get over at least try to work through those and make yourself feel like you can be better because you are better because you're better today than you were yesterday right all right you guys thank you my um scorpios uh for coming to watch my video and i hope that you have a good day and deuces